One of Wisconsin's oldest veterans is being honored in a special way this Independence Day. Tehilil Mohedin joined members of the Oregon community as they gathered to show gratitude. For many, celebrating the 4th of July is about honoring our veterans, and for one group, this cemetery was the best place to do that. And the cemetery here has, um, you know, dozens of American veterans who are buried here and interred here, so it all made sense. On this anniversary of the nation's birth, these Americans are honoring those who made their freedom possible. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. At the grave of Nathaniel Ames, Wisconsin's last surviving Revolutionary War veteran, people gathered to show their appreciation. It's part of being an American and celebrating our, our lives and our freedoms. Planting a symbol of American freedom and patriotism. This is a veterans, an all veterans liberty tree where all Americans can congregate, celebrate their, their patriots and veterans, their active duty. And for the dozens of veterans and other people laid to rest here? Oh, I think they'd be very proud Americans. Organizers did say the local ancestors of Nathaniel Ames are thrilled the Revolutionary War veteran is being honored this way. In Oregon, Tehrim Hadim, News 3 Now. Today's event was the first for the National Freedom and Liberty Tree Project, which is trying to honor all of our country's veterans.